What's going on everybody? Today we are back. Look at this guy. Who's this? I don't think we filmed a video together. We haven't. We've never we've fished in this on the same lake, I think like a year and a half ago maybe. Yeah, we fished a couple times, but But like we've ne it's never just been Chris and I. And uh and Peric is running around trying to get ready for his trip to I I guess I should probably shouldn't say. I don't know if he's giving it away. He's leaving the country. So he's getting ready for that. Rob is out hunting and uh so Chris was nice enough to basically come pick me up and take me fishing so we are at a lake i have never been to in my entire life you've never been here either so it's going to be interesting it's about 11 o'clock got a little bit of a late start we both had to edit a video this morning to get that up and ready to go but we're going to spend the day on a big texas reservoir trying to catch some giant largemouth but before we get started you guys see this beautiful t-shirt right here this is the new ducks hunt t-shirt whether you hunt for fish or you hunt for ducks or deer or all the above this little gem is for you only for 48 hours. So click the link down below. I will leave it there for you. 48 hours only. This gem is available. It is pretty sick, I think, at least. So if you guys like to hunt anything, this is for you. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. Let's uh let's see if we can catch some fish. This could be could be a make or break deal. We drove about an hour, so let's uh let's do this. That was a fish, little guys. I'm just bouncing off these rocks and swimming it down and it just pop, 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 pop. You got one. Oh my God, that's a good one too. Okay, I see what- All right, you convinced me, Bill. Yep. Yep, yep. Come on, first fish. Woo! Get in here, son. That's what we talking. We're out, Chris and I are out here making money moves. I make money moves. Catching these giant fish. He's already caught. He's already he's already got two fish in the boat. That's my first one. On the old Ned rig, my go-to. It's basically what I throw when I just suck at life and can't catch any fish. See, buddy? Little guy. And uh, well, yeah, I haven't really talked to the camera just because I've been depressed about my situation of not being able to catch any fish. We are fishing a point, a rock point, as there's rocks here, and basically slowly dragging little finesse worms. It's the only thing we've caught fish on, right? We've thrown cranks, we've thrown jigs, we've flipped docks, we've cranked rock points, rock jetties. Uh, I mean, we, we literally can't find any fish except dragging finesse worms on rocky points. That is, suck, this is always the go-to. That's the pattern, yeah, this is, you don't know what to do. exactly, exactly, yeah. When you, when you don't know what you're doing with your life, most days for me, you just grab a little finesse worm, find some rocks, and there's always some fish. Sometimes there's bigger ones, but in general, you're gonna catch, you're gonna catch your squeakers. That dock up there looks saucy, though. I've got some confidence. There's gotta be one in this corner. We got trees mixed with rock, mixed with dock, mixed with ducks. What more does a fish want? There's gotta be a donkey back there in that corner. Yep, there's one. Donkey, donkey! I just called that shot. I said there's gotta be a donkey back in this corner. Well, boy, was I right! Woo! Freaking toads. We can't keep the toads off your line today. The shaky head dude just does it every time. We got some little bush action. What type of plants are these? I don't think I've ever yeah, seen. Do not have these in the I don't think I've seen these in my entire life. Oh, oh, we got doubles. Oh, yeah. We have doubles, folks. I'm gonna release, release Frankie here. See, buddy. Oh, uh, is that a fish? Yeah, that's fish. Yep. Yep, oh. we found it. We found it. This is juice. Drop the poles. Oh shit, we don't have poles. I let him swim at that for a minute. I thought it was bigger because he was just kind of like swimming off slowly. Back here. Right there, baby. Back. We found it, dude. It only took three freaking hours. But like I said earlier, we got rock mixed with trees, mixed with dock, mixed with coots. I think those coots is what did it. It's the coot pattern that we're on right now. And uh, for those guys who don't know what coots are, they're just like little black chicken looking things on the water that tastes like complete ass and don't do anything good for the environment. And maybe if you guys know anything that they do good, let me know, but I don't think they do. Oh, oh, 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, it's decent, too. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I told you, ducks. You guys see those ducks over there? You think I was joking. There's literally ducks right there. They're, they're my good luck charm. Come here, buddy. Get up in here. Oh, that's the biggest one for me. It's not a giant, but I'll take it. Unless it's a little light line, it feels like a giant. Come here, buddy. Again, same bait. This time we're fishing a giant rock, main lake point, little bluff action. Wow, this dude was not coming off. Cheese and rice. There we go. Another, another need rig fish. That's a better fish. That is, we're upgrading. Slowly, slowly upgrading. Beautiful fish. See you later, Henry. Whoop. Back in the water, Henry goes. Where are the ducks? Yeah, my boys, my homies over there coming in clutch with that fish. That's the pattern on the duck pattern. All right, folks, since I'm a professional bass fisherman, here's a tip for you. Right there, giant boulders. Right there, chunk rock. That's transition. You want to fish those, all right? We haven't caught any yet, but that's kind of what Chris and I have been keying on. They haven't really been on the giant stuff. They've been more on the pebbles. But if you can find a little combo, you throw in some ducks, you throw in some of those tall-ass tree things, you're good to go. Oh man, folks, we just, uh, oh, oh, hang on. Well, folks, um, I think I've caught a handful of fish. Chris has caught a handful of fish. We're gonna make a quick little Ada Beal, and uh, we're gonna pop off to another lake, right? That's pretty close by. Small, oh, yeah. small lake, neither, have I have, neither you or I have ever been to. Small lake, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can catch a fish. We really wanna get the old Ned rig out of our hands. We're hoping that we can find some bigger fish to go after this lake not a giant fan of i mean it was okay but you know I've, I've definitely been to better texas lakes in my entire life anyways i'm gonna shut up let's let's go over there and see if we can catch some big fish before it gets too dark a few moments later yep yep first cast son oh here we go absolute freaking tank well folks we've been here for about an hour have yet to get, even have a bite my first cast on the dam what we came here for remember when i was saying i'm putting the shaggy head down and tired of catching the, the small flare fish and we're going for biggins exactly absolute freaking donkeys i'll take it though i will take it texas you're being kind of uh oh well, i can't say that word but you know you know you guys know what i mean it's just not being very nice i mean i've, I've caught some fish on my trip i've been here for four days but just no giants maybe i just suck maybe that's it how are you feeling about your life I don't want to talk about it. I lost a big bass today. It was yeah. heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. You don't want to talk about it. It was no bueno. It was not a flare fish. As you can see, I'm all kind of cleaned up, showered. I got to show you guys something, though. Something that you, flare fishing fan members, have not seen. Holy buckets. Look at this. Giant. Oh, my. Oh, no, they're up there. Okay. Say, so did that dude eat all those already? No, he didn't. So, for those of you guys that don't know, this is Gary, okay? This is a 500-gallon fish tank. You guys can see we got the Guggen Squad logo. We got the, the YouTube play button in there. And Gary, Gary's a fish we've had for a few months. John caught him back in the spring, and uh, he was living outside in a pool, and we decided, let's build him a bigger home. So, we did that. Look at him, he just, like, he's very interested. But this dude, he runs this tank. I mean, like... He's already eaten a whole bunch. When we put him in here, he's really skinny. Now he's not. Now he's not too bad. And then this is right here. This is lotion. Kind of hard to see him. We when we bought this fish, we asked the dude to name him, and he named him Lashon, but spelled it like lotion. So we just call him Lotion for now. But Lotion's pretty cool. Lotion's a pretty cool cat. Um, actually, I'll feed Lotion real quick. This is Lotion's food. How do I know it's made for Lotion? Because there's some little Lotion people looking on there, but. Little pellets. Lotion obviously doesn't eat the big goldfish, so we're gonna we're gonna feed lotion. All right, lotion, it's your time to shine. Oh, he sees it. Get it, lotion. Yeah, yeah, eat it. Get that one right there, right there. Don't let that one go. Come on now. What are you doing, buddy? They're on the ground. Do you want more? All right. There. Get them. Get them, lotion. Yeah, the boy. Look at lotion just freaking tear into all that. So as you guys can tell, the uh, the day was kind of kind of bad. I mean, I'm I, I basically am resorting to make my video 
decent by feeding my goldfish if that says anything about today it was pretty rough pretty rough you know chris and i we both we both had some you know some okay fish but they were some nebraska brutes some flare fish not what i come to texas for it just must be oh i didn't even realize okay well apparently apparently you need to feed the goldfish because all the goldfish are eating lotions food anyways i don't know this is this whole tank is pretty interesting i wish i could feed gary on camera we what we dumped we dumped like 40 goldfish in there for him, and so he's been eating all day long because I'm actually leaving tomorrow. I'm headed back to Nebraska. So the next video you guys see will probably be hunting, and the next one after that probably hunting, and the one after that probably hunting. Anyways, that's pretty much what my week next week concludes of is duck hunting and pheasant hunting and just killing things, I guess. And anyways, because I guess I'm better at that than I am catching fish down in Texas. Thank you guys so much for watching remember the shirt not this shirt this is actually a very nice shirt this was this was late forecast shirt but the hunt shirt you guys want that one is linked down below as well as the flare gear we actually have shirts and hoodies with this little gem logo freedom flare fish logo now and uh it'll all be linked down below would really appreciate if you guys pick some up thank you guys so much for watching and peace